So what is up guys and girls? I want to start this one off by saying thank you. Thank you for all those likes and all those comments. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I like to consider myself the headquarters to e-bike group rides. And unfortunately, that's not what we're gonna do today, but we are gonna get out of the house and take advantage of this lovely day. So riding season is just around the corner. And how do you prepare? You're gonna dust the cobwebs off of your bikes. And one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is check your air pressure. If you don't already know, I rock the Onyx RCR as well as Spark Cycle Works Bandit. I'll show you that here. Both the Spark Cycle Works Bandit and the RCR are my tried and true commuter. We are in storage charge, so our ride will not be too far. All right, so in the belly of this beast is a 72 volt, 50 amp hour battery from Powerful Lithium. So huge shout out to the guys over there. Without you guys, the distance traveled would be short. All right, so if you guys look over here, I am at 1,996 miles and I have a, a new review coming out. It's gonna be the 2,000 miles later review. And some of the things I'm gonna talk to you about besides the battery, are these guys over here. These are the uh, halos from Raid Dynamics. So besides checking your nuts, air pressure is equally important. You wanna make sure that you go out there with the recommended air pressure. So what you wanna do is you wanna look at your tire. All right, so check it out. On this tire over here, it tells me that I should be at 40 pounds. All right, and on the back tire, it's the same thing, 40 PSI. All right, so these are prototypes. And what I do is try to get out as often as possible and ride. And some of the things to report back on are rattling, strange noises, uh, effects while using the brakes, uh, the integrity of the boats. And most importantly is refilling air. So that's what we're gonna do today. When you guys get your halos, you're gonna get a box, something like this. Some of the hardware might be a little bit different, but they are going to include something like this, an angled valve stem. Because why? You guys might be like me, have a straight, a straight edged attachment to the valve stem. And with the halos on it, it's gonna be a little bit hard. So what I'm gonna do today is install this bad boy and then check my air pressure. The first thing we need to do is take the existing valve stem cover off and secondly we will insert the angled valve stem and it's probably easiest to do with one finger on one side one on the other but screw that bad boy on then once installed We can attach our air hose like so. Check the pressure that I'm at. And that's where I'm at, that's what I'm running. So it is a good idea to crank up the pressure. Now me personally, I think 40 pounds is too much. I'm more of a 33 uh, PSI kind of guy. And that's where I'll be leaving it, at 33. Once I'm done, I can quickly remove the angled valve stem, put my cap back on, and 
jump to the other side. Okay, so quickly take your valve stem cover off. Grab your angled valve stem. And we're gonna repeat the process in the rear. Probably be the easiest to work like I did in the front. One finger on one side. And the other on the other side. All right, attach the compressor. Wow, it's really low here. That can't be right. And I am a 33 PSI kind of guy. And that's where I'll leave it. Remove the angle valve stem. And replace the cap. All right, when I'm done, I put my hardware away, but I take it with me wherever I go. And just like that, I am good to go. So you guys, put your riding gloves on, because we're about to be full ride. So let's get out and have a little fun. So I'm coming to you from Staten Island, New York. Here in the East Coast, the weather is cold. I am about to hit up the scenic old Richmond town. It's a place where I brought everyone to visit on the Staten Island group ride. Uh, in front of me, you'll see uh, Edgar's ice cream. Uh, the ice cream is homemade here. It, they have specialty flavors. It is a spot where people come to take pictures. I've seen a lot of weddings uh, photographed here. And uh, speaking of photographs, let's see what I can come up with. Photoshoot. Pause. 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 Photoshoot. Pause. 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 It up a little bit and uh, put it on the sidewalk. Didn't get into any trouble. Got a few pics. Uh, let's keep it moving. All right. So on my right is uh, my favorite coffee shop. It's called Main Street Coffee here in uh, Old Richmond Town. If you are a coffee lover, I'd highly recommend coming here. The coffee is great, and the food's even better. All right, so now I will hit up the uh, bike trail. And maybe get a couple shots over there. close to my bike trail that brings me closer to the water that makes the temperature even colder so 
So I need to pull over and swap these gloves out because I am cold right now. I'll pull into this parking lot right here and I'll do the swap. Damn, this is cold. You Cali boys got it good. And you guys down south in Florida, y'all got it good. All right, oh, check that out. How pretty is that? Oh, don't shit on me. All right, my heated gloves are on. They're at the highest level. My legs are cold. And with the cold comes a bathroom break i gotta use the bathroom so i might just call this one all right so what is the takeaway from today's video pretty much the takeaway was when the weather is nice take advantage and get outside and ride especially if you're from the east coast sometimes the cold weather keeps us from going getting outside as in my case right here i got outside for a little while but I am cold I have to use the bathroom it's time to go home it's hoping to get in a few more pictures but I am happy with what I did get all right guys and girls so with that I will leave you if you guys enjoyed this video please don't hesitate smash that like button leave a comment because I get back to everybody and if you want to please subscribe so until the next video peace out everybody all right i started this journey out with 75 volts now i'm down to about 68 volts i don't know if it's the cold weather if it's the mileage if it's the terrain but just seeing two bars like that doesn't make me feel good Okay, now I'm a little nervous. We are about to go up to the highest point of elevation in Staten Island. I've got two bars, and you guys know what voltage sag is and uh, cutoff point on your controller. I hope the sag isn't too great and I don't drop below the, uh, the controller's cutoff point. Because look up ahead, we're going up a hill. I'm right at that 60 volt mark. 